then these are some of the award-winning uh, pictures that I have uh, I'm showing you here. And there was a commentary about most of my art. And the commentary is dramatic, yet restrained, chaotic, yet orderly. That's the commentary on my art. Now, you probably see an influence of M.C. Escher there. You might have heard of Charles Fizzini or Jim Rizzi or uh, Red Brooms. Yeah. These men, these uh, artists, also do 3D. Uh, no place in their league. Uh, however, they do art that I do not do, even though it's 3D. When they present their pictures, they tell you what you want to see. With my art, you see what you want to see here. What makes my art very different is my art is topless. You know what I mean by that? There's no top to this. You see that? There are four straps. That means when you turn it this way, there's going to be another picture. However, I'm going to take you on a trip. But let me just start with this picture. This picture is called The Neighborhood. In the neighborhood, this is a kitchen. Again, this is abstract. This is a floor plan of an apartment. These are surrounding buildings that's related to that. This picture is broken down into quadrants. When you turn it the wrong way, this is the kitchen. This is the kitchen and the floor plan, and these are the buildings. The next, oh my. Now you're going to see a stadium. You're going to see a garage. You're going to see little tickets. That you, when you go into the stadium through these archways, you'll see seats, you'll see lodges, you'll also see some surrounding buildings. That's that quadrant. Now, if you want to turn the picture this way, you'll see another quadrant. Here, you'll see a cobblestone street in an industrial area. This is the main headquarters. There's a series of little buildings that are uh, scattered throughout the area, and that's in that quadrant. Then, if the industrial area wants to com complain, all they have to do is go to City Hall over here. So, if you get tired of seeing the picture this way, you just turn it back. Because of my perspectiveness, and I seem to lose track of the drawer, and I must work, I must walk away. So, no one would be foolish enough to sit down for a hundred hours to do any drawing. So that's what I mean. You need this. Either that or being dumb. I'm not too sure. <laughs> this one, this is called Movie Day. When I started this drawing, I, I wasn't too sure whether I wanted to go uptown or downtown. Here's a house with a swimming pool, so I'm not too sure what I really want to do. Now, what the only thing I'm not too sure of also, I don't know whether I want to go into a high rise or I want to go into something that's traditional. But I do know that I want to have a subway nearby. So, what I'll do, I'll pack up all my, my utilities, Take up all my lamps and the toaster and everything else. I'll take my television set, my computer, my VCR, and then what I'll do, I'll go around the neighborhood and I'll end up in a complex right in there. Now, in design in here, which I doubt whether you can see, but you can look at it a little later, there are little design rooms in different corners. Here's a bedroom, this is a living room. And what I did, I packed up all my things in crates, window treatment, and I found that I put all my emotions into my suitcase. Now I'm gonna play a game with you. With all my emotions, when I move, the entire move then becomes a sad day. And all the emotions came out. Can I ask how long it takes you to sketch your original? Original takes around 40 to 50 hours. I have to see it. Because they all have to be uh, set in the position 
Well, they don't conflict with each other. And then they're all popping in black and white? Yes, it all starts with black and white. So you don't start with a chrome, in other words, when you finish with black and white, you don't do a color to know where everything no, is color -wise. I color it as the planes come about as you go along. As I go along, when I colored this, I have to decide when I look at it. Here's, <clears throat> here's a roof to one of the buildings. And there's a little uh, breakdown of, all, uh, of a room with a sofa and a, and a couch and, a, and a, a TV set. I had to decide the roof is at the same level as that roof, as this uh, building over here, which is a modernistic building. I had to design that. That room is at the same level as at the top of the roof of these buildings. And the building over here. Now this takes care of the houses. Remember I talked about the houses in the round? Well, these are the same level as a roof of that and to that. This is done with a knife. Exactly. 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 Well, exactly. You can, exactly. You can see color before you put the foam pour on. Yes. Oh, yeah, that would be very difficult to, to color. color it once it's on the foam pour, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Once I made a design. Now, you get into a very complex situation here. It looks like a little piece of Swiss cheese. And I had to decide on this plane, I'm getting near the top, so I have more coloring to different houses. Remember the five houses I showed you here? Oh, they're still white and two on the side. Well, the two on the side are now, of these five, I've now colored, well, these six, I've now colored four of them. Because again, they're coming into a focus. Oh, <laughs> uh, to find the gift and then what? Do something with it. And what had happened when I was doodling in college at that time, I didn't know what I was doing. I was doing it because I was listening and, I, and I'm just drawing when I brought it home. It came out mishmash. And that's when my wife had mentioned, why don't you make it more formalized? So I had a gift, and it took me all those years for it to come out. And fortunate for me, I took advantage of the gift. Yeah. I see things, I believe, a little bit differently than you. I'm My sure. perspective of, of buildings and, and, and objects and sizes. Do you see it? So you I see it so differently, because when I explain to my wife, this is what I do, she says, I don't understand what you're doing. I had her at one demonstration, and even when I finished, she said, gee, that was wonderful. But she didn't know what I was doing. She said, oh, you're gluing. Well, it wasn't gluing. The whole idea is, how did I decide those houses were at, at, at a particular level? I'm going to go up the room. Look at the house, just the house. See how it's built up? There are four levels in here. See the houses? There's your back, mid, and then we're coming up to the top. See the little houses? Yes. See the houses? How it comes up? There's your houses. It's starting to build up. There's still some white objects. Now, what I was doing now, this being a small picture, and again, being as anal as I was, or is, that uh, I developed a room. There's a room in here. Oh, let's say it's. Uh, one by two, that little room. Now, how come some of this is still white? That's why I was Because I'm not <laughs> I just want to give you a feeling of what is happening from a distance. Right? Oh. Where's the white? <laughs> I have one. If someone's really adventuresome, I made one original here, uh, did that uh, a month ago, uh, that's a little bit more, that's $75, but that's an original thing. So if you want to take a few moments when the meeting is over, you can look it over, and there's only one of these. Study it, look at it, laugh, and enjoy whatever it has to offer. I think my greatest thrill was uh, I had a, a picture in the gallery in Boca, and uh, it was in a very interesting spot because as I was walking into the gallery, there was a couple in front of me, and uh, I held the door for them. This couple walked in, and before they got to the far wall, the woman said, That looks like a